One of the most common symptoms a Vizio TV can show is if it will not turn on. This symptom can also be referred to as no power, a blinking standby light, no standby light, and other symptoms as well. When the TV will not turn on, you should check all the external places first. Be sure your TV is plugged into an outlet that is working, and be sure the power cord is plugged all the way into the back of the TV. After checking those, if your TV still will not turn on, then you should check to see if the TV has standby voltage. This test will require that you have the skills and knowledge of how and when to use a multimeter to check voltages on a live TV. Remove all of the screws and back cover off the Vizio TV. Before removing the back cover, be sure there are no cables connected to the back cover. If there are, disconnect them before removing it. Be sure the TV is unplugged. After removing the back cover, identify the power supply board and the main board. Then find the cable that connects the main board to the power supply. Where that cable connects to the power supply, look for the standby voltage pin. It could be labeled as STBY or SB or something else. There are many different standby voltages, but most are either 5 volts or 3.3 volts. The standby voltage for this Vizio TV is 5 volts. When testing for standby, place your negative lead on the metal part of the chassis and the positive test lead on the standby pin you are testing. If the voltage tests closer to zero, then it shows that there is either a problem with the main board or the power supply board. Unplug the TV, then disconnect the cable from the power supply board, plug the TV back in, and retest the standby point again to see what voltage you see. If the voltage is close to zero, then it shows that there is most likely a problem with the power supply board, and it should be replaced. If you receive a voltage at the normal level for that test point, which would be 5 volts for this Vizio TV, then it shows that there is most likely a problem with the main board, because the power supply is producing the normal standby voltage, but when the main board is connected, it causes a problem. Thus, it is recommended to replace the main board. This is the first step in troubleshooting a TV that will not turn on. There could be other problems causing this symptom that we do not cover in this video, however these are the first steps that are recommended for troubleshooting and board replacement to try and fix the problem.